G'day ladies and gentlemen, this is Voyager the Second here. Today, we are back with another episode of International Public Transport Showcases. In today's episode, we are going to showcase my own proposed high-speed railway line, which will connect the cities of Helsinki in Finland and St. Petersburg in Russia. This is a 411 kilometer, 1520 millimeter gauge line with trains operating at a top speed of Let's try 400 kilometers per hour. This means we can allow travel times by rail between the two cities from the current three and a half hours to a brief 90 minutes by train. The purpose of this high speed rail project is to attract further migration into Finland and Russia. Finland especially is famous for its highest, for its good performing education system. It's education system outperforms every country in the world and people will want to migrate to this country for that. If you've seen Prince EA's video about how he sued the school system he mentioned how Finland does so well in education and how they make shorter school days but that's not what we're here, what we're here for. We're here for the high-speed rail project. There is a color coding scheme in this line. There's two stations that with yellow on them. Yellow means they are served by both Super Express and regional high-speed rail whereas blue is only served by regional trains and also probably even local trains. Red stations represent that these stations will be served by some Super Express services as well as all as all local and regional high-speed rail services. Green is for local high-speed rail services between operating between the cities of Lati and Helsinki. So, without further ado, let's begin the showcase at Helsinki Terminal. Helsinki Terminal is also known as Helsinki Central. The high-speed rail platforms will be on the center of the station but using the longer platforms. The line will basically be on the existing rail corridor throughout the Helsinki metropolitan area, but some tracks will be upgraded to speeds of 225 kilometers per, kilometers per hour or 140 miles per hour through metropolitan Helsinki. There will be a stop at Tikarilla right there which will be served by mostly by airport commuters and also some locals who will who live in this area. It will continue running at a speed of 140 miles an hour and there's going to be another stop at Kerava which will be served by regional and local high-speed trains. Now the line will divert and use the existing higher speed rail between Kerava and Lati. Uh, it's, it's called higher speed rail because it doesn't go very fast with only speeds of 220 kilometers an hour. It's currently, that's the current speed of this line here in Finland. But it will be upgraded so that the track can accommodate for trains traveling at 350 kilometers an hour and the local services can replace their rolling stock to 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 operate at speeds of 300 kilometers an hour instead of the 200 and of the current 220 kilometer per hour rolling stock so that trains don't catch up with each other that easily while running at their maximum speeds there will be local high speed rail stops at Harajoki and Mant Sala which are coded in green with local trains passing through these stations or stopping at these stations once every hour. Now the high-speed railway line will divert with two options. One option is going to join the existing main, the existing railway line at Hakosilta, and the other option, and the other branch is going to go on another, on a new high-speed rail line, which will, which will sink underground in a tunnel before approaching the station of Lati and Lati is where all is where all where some 
sub where some Super Express trains will stop here, as well as all regional and local high speed rail. Now the line will now trains once they depart from Lati station they will accelerate to speeds of 400 kilometers an hour it's still going to run underground through a tunnel until we reach this industrial area of Sivola station I don't know how to pronounce them and from there the line will mostly be new alignments due to the existing corridor not straight enough to accommodate high-speed rail there will be another stop at Kuvola and that is the last stop in Finland the line is going to be pretty straightforward with some viaducts and tunnels every now and then along the way and then there's go and then it's going to cross the the Russian border and the Finnish border and it will still continue at speeds of 400 kilometers per hour now, just after it crosses this body of water, there's going to be there's going to be another stop at Viborg, but around this area, trains will decelerate to speeds of 240 kilometers an hour due to this intense track curvature. Now, there's going to be now a stop at Vi Viborg will be served by regional trains, and the Super Express trains will be passing through the station at a speed of 240 kilometers per hour. But once it leaves the township of Viborg or the city of Viborg trains will accelerate again to 400 kilometers per hour. It will run mainly parallel along this existing line, but it will not it will but trains will not be using the existing line due to several stations along the way which will overtake the which will overtake the current which could catch up with the trains that use this line. Now there is a stop at Roshino Station. If you look carefully at the, at the township of Roshino, there's only single houses occupying larger than average areas. In fact, only 13,000 people live in this area. Super Express trains will fly past the station at 400 kilometers per hour, with regional trains stopping at that station. Now there's going to be one more regional stop at Levashovo station. Yeah, I think that's how I pronounce it. At Levashovo station, regional trains will stop there. And that's also the point where trains decelerate to 200 kilometers an hour due to this curve and also the fact that it's almost the end of the line. Now the line will not be using the existing rail corridor even going through Metropolitan St. Petersburg. Now, and you'll find that reason in just a minute. It will run east of the existing line, but the two new tracks, which will be dedicated to high speed trains, will be used by those two new tracks. Now, south of Landskaya Station, Landska, yeah, I think that's how I pronounce it, which is this station here, the line will sink underground in a short tunnel before making its way to St. Petersburg Finlandski station and the reason we put it underground and not use those platforms is that there will be a potential to extend the high-speed railway line to Moscow which will eventually cut travel times between the three cities. There, in, there is an existing high-speed railway line between St. Petersburg and Moscow which is down that way but this new this new alignment will allow will allow trains to travel at speeds of 400 kilometers an hour instead of the current 250 kilometers an hour. But that's the end of the line for today. We'll extend. We'll sh we'll have a sh another showcase for that later. Now there's gonna, now this is the overview of a, of the ma of the map. I'll show you a simplified. I'll show you a simplified map that shows the services right here. Now, just you can look through the map. I'll scroll. I'll scroll through this map slowly. Just, just pause 
you want to see it in detail. And just pause if you want to see it. So that is the, and that's all for today. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap this episode up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content, like, and especially share the video. I will see you next time. Goodbye for now.